Hey guys, I want to show you this nice little um, IP internet webcam security camera that I got in. It's from IZ Touch. It's an IP camera. Um, it's accessible from a smartphone, laptops, and regular PCs, and it looks almost identical to that, but it's got a little base on it. Um, this is the camera. And on the back, I'm going to cover it up because I don't want you guys seeing it, because I'm not sure if you can access my stuff or not. Um, there is an ID and a password and that is for um, getting the camera to work. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how to access it on the phone because it is quite simple, um, but I will show you guys how to access it on a PC, which is also pretty simple. First off, what you're going to do, you need to open up Internet Explorer because this will not work on Firefox or any other system. And let me pull up this right here so you can see. We're going to go to video IP camera dot cn slash view. And now we are on the screen. And hello, you can see my reflection. Um, when you set this up on your phone, you're going to use a username and a password. Your user ID uh, might start with a zero, I think it's zero one or something like that. It's the number that the app will give you. Um, but you can also use your uh, email address that you signed up with on here. So I'm going to use my email address and my password. And we're going to sign in. And it says, please add contacts. If you guys can see this well enough. Let me zoom in so you can see that part. Please add contacts. Okay, so down here at the very uh, far bottom, you're going to see a plus button. And you're going to have to press plus. And it's going to ask for the nickname, the 3C ID, and the password. The ID is the ID off the back of your camera and the password is off the back of your camera as well. Um, let me jump back real quick. One thing you might have to do when you first access this website, you might have to download a plugin and it's completely safe. My computer didn't find any viruses, um, so there's no issue with that there. So let's say this is living room and I can't spell. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Living room. So let's do living room. The ID. And then press next. And it says added uh, successfully. Now I'm going to zoom out. And you will see the camera listed right here. If you have more than one camera, it will show there as well. So let's close this box and we're going to press play because we have this camera selected. And there we go. I'm echoing. <laughs> um, right now it is on, let me, whoa, turn off my volume so you can't hear. The camera does have, okay, that's weird. Um, sometimes it detects low light even though I've got lights on like crazy in the living room and it does turn the night vision on which either way um, it's a really clear picture so you don't have to worry about you know uh, low grain pictures or low quality pictures um, down here at the bottom there's an LD and if you click on that it's going to go to standard uh, definition let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better even though you'll see a, a bit of lines and then click it one more time and it goes to high definition which is even clearer I'm going to pick the camera up see it just turned off night vision the video is really clear but if you look at the front of the camera I don't want to get me on camera <laughs> if you look at the front of the camera at the very top there is a pinhole well it looks like a pinhole um, it's a little round hole and actually what that is is the sensor the light sensor and once the light sensor detects no light the infrareds will come on to allow the night vision to work 
And as you can tell, it's pretty lit up in my room. But sometimes if you just don't have the right amount of light shining in the sensor, it will turn to night vision. So, um, a couple more settings that are on here. Let me zoom out. It does have the time and date automatically on the camera, which the time is wrong. Hmm, it was set up. I don't know what happened. Well, anyway, you can set that up on your cam. I mean, on your uh, smartphone. I did have it set up earlier. At the bottom, there are a couple options. There's a settings button, which it just has language auto and I don't know what I just did I guess I changed oh okay there's an issue right there I don't know if it's my computer or if it's this applet but um, I do have issues with this staying active it does close sometimes so let me log back in when you log back in you're just going to use your username and password again or your ID and here my camera is listed to the left again and just press play and now we're back while it rolling um, at the bottom this little power button disconnects you this button is obviously the setting button that I just clicked on and made it cut off um, this button is to take a photo. If you press that once, fill to create directory. Screenshot success. Okay, the reason why I did that, when I set this up, I had a memory card in my computer and it saved to that. So I have to put a memory card back in to get it to save. But if you don't have a memory card in, it'll be fine. Um, but if you click on that, it'll usually say you'll find it in this location. And... Um, you click this button it's going to start recording and then when you click stop it's not going to say this because you'll be saving to your hard drive but it'll say recording finished click to open and this button will stop it and this is the sound um, on your smartphone you can actually talk through the camera um, oh see look it, uh, it sensed low light and now it's back the only thing I uh, have an issue with is that it does have an, I, well, I guess it has the issue, issue actually. Um, it doesn't detect light very well. Um, I had it set up in my kitchen yesterday, and I had lights on in there, but yet it was on night vision. I wish there was kind of a way to toggle in between the two instead of just doing um, automatic. But either way, there you go. That's the easy, simple way to control your uh, camera from your desktop.